Good morning, everybody. Today is day four. Last night wasn't the greatest night. This morning, not the greatest morning. But that's okay, because I got fresh socks on. Well, I need a little more out booster. Today I'll be going over Albert Mountain, whether I go to the shelter that's about eight miles just past Albert Mountain, or I could continue for a 12.1 mile day and be closer to Winding Stair Gap where I can get into Franklin. This weather, I'm not sure when it's gonna hit. It might be Wednesday evening. And so I'd like to be secure somewhere, or at least close to Winding Stair Gap for the following morning of Thursday so that I can get in to uh, Baltimore Jack's Hostel. Looks like to be the one. We'll see if they're open. We'll see whether or not they're servicing people right now. With everything going on. So, starting today with a nice little incline. So, I'm gonna let you go. I'm not huff and puff in your ear, but I'll be back. All right, y'all, it is about 12.30. I've taken about a 45 minute break here at the Betty Creek Gap. There's water here, so I went ahead and filled up. I've already drank probably three liters of water or more today. So I'm trying to keep ahead of it. I'm doing a very good job. I am sure by now y'all are already sick and tired of me talking about water, but it's one of the most crucial things out here for me right now. To make sure that my body is well lubricated so that I can continue hiking. Speaking of hiking, I've been trying to dread this, but now it is time to conquer Albert Mountain. It's going to be a 2.5 mile hike up, elevation change of plus 1200 feet, up to 5,250 feet, if I remember correctly. And I believe also this is a spot where the official or unofficial 100 mile mark is if you are Nobo starting at Springer. Of course, it won't be 100 miles for me, but it'll still be neat to see. So, like I said, I filled up water here. I've got a mile. There's a culvert that I could get more water at. I may actually do that. That way I can break up the climb to Albert Mountain. But, y'all, once I finish Albert Mountain, and I'm sure I'll be cursing myself for saying this, but after that, it should truly be smooth sailing. Um, the elevation change after Albert Mountain is going to be very, very gradually down, if not very flat in most cases. So I'm looking at if I can get Albert Mountain done in the next three hours, so a little less than a mile an hour even, then I could be looking at 3.30 or so and at the top of Albert Mountain, that'll mean I'll have another four hours. And at that point, I can start looking at whether or not I'm going to go seven miles down to the second shelter. Or if I'm going to take a short day today and hit up the first shelter that I get to. Stay tuned. All right, right y'all. I am about more than halfway up Albert Mountain. So far, not horrible, but the fun part is about to begin. I think the elevation change at this point is going to be pretty drastic, and there's some rocks to climb over. Might have to use my hands. Hopefully not. Hopefully I can just get over it slowly. It's about 2.30 right now. Still definitely on pace. I'd like to be at the top of Albert Mountain at 3.30. Make some phone calls, hopefully, if I have service. Call everybody. Let them know I'm good. And then shashay down the mountain to the first shelter and I think I'm done for the day. It's gonna be a short one for me, but that's all right. Two miles to go. Whew. 200 feet of elevation change left. I'm at 5,300 feet right now. Scrambled over some rocks. Whew. Tough day. All right, y'all. Finally, 
standing on top of the mountain. The gorgeous view like this, rolling hills for miles. Worth it. Hello again. This time it is about 6 p.m. I'm at the Long Branch Shelter. Hiked about eight and a half miles today to this point. I'm actually pretty content with that. The backside or the southern side of that mountain, Albert Mountain. Wow, that was a really nice change of pace. A lot of downhill, very gradual, very easily done. Really, really made this day a lot better to end on a good note. So tomorrow I've got 7.1 miles to Winding Stair Gap. I'm hoping to be there about 3 p.m. and get a shuttle into town. Hopefully stay at a hostel, save a little money, get a bunk. I'm sure it's not going to matter as long as there's maybe air conditioning. That probably doesn't even matter either. Really, I just want a warm, warm bed to sleep in, some hot food, and... Again, I'm not sure exactly what I'm craving. I'm definitely thinking some pizza and some sort of soda or something. Um, we'll see. I know that there's a grocery store in uh, Franklin, so I'll probably visit there, grab a couple different things, and then hunker down at a hostel. All right, taking off the shoes, and I think you can see clearly that that's where the sock line is. All right, y'all. Nobody here again, so this is my home. Got dirty laundry on the hanger. Trying to dry out a little. Got a little picnic table over here. Got some ramen cooking. Should be about ready. They're in that bag right there. Trash bag full of stuff. Coming inside here. This is an awesome shelter. Looks like at least space for 16, if not more, if you did it right. There's a hole upstairs. But... I'm going to occupy right back there. Yeah, hopefully uh, tonight will be a good night for weather. Looks like weather's going to be starting about 2 p.m. tomorrow. Got some stuff askew. Water and water supply for tomorrow morning. Went ahead and did those chores already. So that way I can watch it become dark. Get full on some ramen. And head to bed. Looks like a 7.1 mile day tomorrow to Winding Stair Gap. There's a pretty big hill, mountain if you want to call it, that's going to be in between. And that's going to be a spot that I can call for a shuttle. And then get into town.